So here we are again with the 2017 Honda Civic Sport Touring. This is literally the best Civic that you can buy before the Type R, which is what I, why I wanted it so bad. It's got, you know, the Type R lights pretty much, the headlights. Got 18 inch wheels, the body kit, all that stuff. I'm sure you guys know all of it about it. And uh, today was its first drive. I got to drive it around a little bit uh, just to see and make sure, you know, everything was working good, you know, after the fix. There's still some things that I need to finish. Obviously, I still got to put the diffuser that I just got in the box. The hatch is on, looking good. Bumper's on. I got, you know, it all bolted up, got it all lined up. I had to pull a little bit of the lip right here that was kind of sunk in so I can get the trunk to seal. And uh, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Obviously, you can still see a lot of the stuff underneath because the diffuser is missing. You have like a big square piece that goes right there. And then you have the little lip that goes all the way underneath. But before I put that on, I need to paint it uh, that gloss black that everything else is just so it'll it'll match and it won't look weird. So the only reason why I hadn't put the interior in just yet was because before that you needed to bolt down this because to get to that bolt or the nut, you literally have to go in between the roof and the headliner. And then that kind of holds the headliner. So it was just, just a big mess that I had to deal with to get that done. But as soon as we got the, the hatch on, got that all situated to where it's perfect. Oh, I put all the plastic that goes here as well. Uh, it worked, it worked. So then, able to put the rear seat in this says that it has a little bit of damage on the little scratches on the wheels you can see right there that's why that's there let's unlock the car but here is the interior in the back so all all of it is working great you can see you know the seats are folding down as they should and you know, you have that extra space if you need to carry something that's a bit larger. So that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get the hatchback version because you have so much more room to fit stuff. Another thing I have to do is I have to put that tint on there because that does not look good compared to the tint that's on everything else. It's been driving nice, but it's been looking a little bare because it's got some parts that are missing there. And one of the parts that is missing is obviously the diffuser that I showed you guys. Uh, a couple of clips ago and one of the issues with it is that it is not shiny black like it should be it's just like a plastic color obviously i went ahead and sanded them down already this is supposed to be like the type r style so that's why it has like little fins figured it would look cool i can either spend 400 dollars on the original or I spend 100 bucks on this ebay one and it's gonna look good obviously i have to paint it you would typically have to spend more money to try to get it to match with the rest of the parts that this car has since it has the side skirt and the front lip you see there it's really shiny black along with the wheels so if this was not shiny you know the same as these rear vents here it wouldn't look good so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint those to that new shiny black so here are the pieces all painted up all individually painted so i'm gonna go ahead and put them on the car now that they're dry. Another day driving the Civic. Uh, I've been driving the Civic for about a week now. I didn't quite get the chance to show you guys uh, how the rear diffuser, I guess you can call it, uh, came out because after I went ahead and installed it, it got dark and then uh, it started raining the very next day. So the car's all dirty. And I don't want to show you guys, you know, the car uh, dirty. So I'm going to go give it a wash and uh, just talk a little bit about like how the drive's been. Like it's been really comfortable driving this car you know, all over the Lexus. The Lexus is a nice, luxury, comfortable car, but it's a lot of car. Like, it's a lot of money in a car to just be driving around and, you know, like, kind of freaking out because I don't want anybody to hit it because it's not cheap to fix that car. So, I kind of set it aside for a little bit and I've been driving the Civic mainly because I have been driving quite a bit lately for, for work. Um, and the gas mileage is not not the greatest on the Lexus obviously um, when you're driving and you want to drive it a little bit fast and you want to you know feel the, the power you know the 300 horsepower, horsepower that it has and in the Civic you know you kind of get that same feeling you know obviously it doesn't have that much power 
but you get really good gas mileage. So I'm averaging a little bit low for what the car does, but it's still good. Like I think I'm getting like 28 miles per gallon, uh, but that's like going boost quite a bit. Like actually, you know, getting a feel for the car, seeing how quick it is and whatnot. And uh, so far it's about, it's about the same as, a, as like an FRS, a little bit faster than an FRS. Uh, and then it's about the same as a Fiesta ST, like, you know, bone stock, we're talking bone stock here. Obviously the FRS has like, I believe 200 horsepower at the crank. So like 170 to the wheels. And then the Fiesta ST has like 197 at the crank and probably like 180 uh, at the wheels. And the Civic has 180 at the crank and most likely has like 170 at the wheels. You know, there's not that much drivetrain loss because it's a front wheel drive car. Uh, whereas the FRS has a lot of drivetrain loss because of the rear wheel drive, you know, getting it to, to go through everything like that. But, you know, it's fun, it's quick, you know, the turbo goes in. So here is the cockpit view. Um, you can see, you know, one of the cool things is that the speedometer is digital. So you can see your speed as you're driving. Um, this model does come with paddle shifters, as you can see right there. And uh, I have it set to my fuel economy, but I could always change that and go into, I believe it is turbo. So you can see kind of like how much boost you're running. I'm guessing it's, it, it's based off of like one bar. So one bar, you know, zero to one bar is, uh, I think it's 14 pounds of boost. So if, when I'm getting the plus, I'm guessing that just means it's, four, it's at, I know I'm at 14 pounds of boost. Um, so that's kind of cool, you know, you kind of get like a digital boost gauge. And then it has uh, the navigation. So the navigation is obviously cool because like when I put the turn signal, uh, the camera on that rear view mirror right there activates and you can you can see it uh, on on the actual navigation system, on the, na on the navigation system. So it's, it's cool. It's cool to see that. And obviously after that goes away, the navigation comes back up. And you know, you can see where you're going. And that's, that's actually pretty cool, look at that. It has like a Circle K logo, like it'll have like restaurant logos and, and stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive um, for, for the navigation system, it's kind of cool. Um, I haven't really shown you guys going, this piece looks like I'm going to boost a little bit. There you go, like you can see the boost. I got like half pounds of boost right there. So I'm guessing that'd probably be like somewhere on like seven pounds of boost. Yeah, man, it's it's so comfortable. It's got heated seats. It's got the nav. It's got just a bunch of cool stuff. So I'm gonna take it into the car wash, and I'll show you guys after. It actually looks pretty good. The shininess was like at a nice level. It matched with the stock stuff. Obviously, it's a little bit shinier. And then like this this like slit where it's like a different piece with you know the toe hook cover. So it doesn't look that bad. Obviously, the side looks cool. You know, you can see. The side skirt with uh, matching up with the rear diffuser and then having the little fins also looks pretty cool and then the dual exhaust you know kind of sticking out right there came out good give you guys a little bit of a side profile look at that so i think it came out good you know it kind of ties in with like the rest of the look of the car uh, the bumper looks like a different color in some lighting, but in other lighting, it looks pretty, pretty, pretty close. You can't even really tell, but I guess my metallic is a little bit different. So on camera, you can kind of see a big difference, but in person, it's pretty much the same. Obviously, if you look at it with uh, the correct lighting and then like with the trunk, the, the lift gate is literally original color. So it all matches pretty good. You know, that's as close as you're gonna get when repainting a uh, part but knowing that all i had to do is repaint the rear bumper uh was actually kind of cool so that's gonna be it for this video guys i will be probably bringing a little bit more uh videos on this card later on if i decide to do any mods to it for now it is the daily driver of my wife uh, just getting it all ready and set up for her and you know as soon as she starts driving and i guess we, we probably won't see much of it uh, until I decide I want to you know, do a little bit of mods here, maybe a little bit of performance upgrades just to make it, you know, a little bit faster over uh, a stock, you know, FRS and a stock ST just so it has a little bit more pep. 
So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you guys have a great day.